never beep, phone. How am I supposed to record my outgoing message if I don't know when to start? I wish I had my old phone back. What's up? Hi, Nancy. Nancy, hi. Nancy, how goes the old mummy hunt? Something happened, didn't it? Nancy, be careful out there. It sounds dangerous. George is all wrapped up in that new job of hers, but you can call me anytime you need help. Full disclosure, while I do play an Egyptologist on television, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Supposedly cursed or supposedly cursed? Me neither. You have to come home. What? Just what? Is it contagious? You can tell me if it is. I won't be weird about it. We can still hang out. I've always wanted to use those walkie-talkies George got me. So, this may not be the best time to mention this, but yesterday I couldn't sleep and I saw this movie called Revenge of the Desert Queen. And everyone gets cursed and then every single person in the movie is fine. Every single person in the movie is fine. Life lessons are learned, friendships forged, romance is romanced, history learned about. All of them. Even the last girl I was really rooting for because she really looked like you. I could maybe have left that last part out. Nancy, I've been reading up on curses, and this is one of the hallmarks of a classic curse. Once the seal has been opened, the creatures of the desert get all riled up and turn against the interlopers. You guys are the interlopers, by the way. Is it still there? Who do you think would do that? I don't know. It sounds like if he had a problem with you, he wouldn't bother with the Cobra Graham. She's crazy, but is she send a message with a snake crazy? She's off my Christmas card list. I'd try looking through her things to see if you can find proof. Hmm. I'd see if you can do a bit of snooping. Honestly, Nancy, let it go. That was a harmless little garter snake, and we were kids. Anyway, it was George's idea, I think. It seems Georgie. Why would she do something like that? Trust your instincts. You know they're usually right. Not a bad idea. No? Why? Mm, well, that's sort of like you. I mean, a little. After your mom, I, I always thought it was your mom. The way she died that made you so interested in mysteries. I'm sorry, Nancy. I shouldn't have said that. I just need to work on my filter, like George says. Well, forget I said it. No need to get hung up on the sad stuff right now. You're in Egypt, the land of... Uh, I'm sorry, I still don't know much about Egypt. Check around to see if there's anything to help you get a better idea of what's going on at the site. Someone should have left some notes around. John probably had some. Way to go! Really? Aren't you in the middle of nowhere? Stub. Okay, so maybe they were just out for a walk. In the desert. Nope. Doesn't work out. Nancy, what the craziness is happening out there? You get used to it. Well, it certainly feels that way. Maybe it's time to call this one a wrap. That's exactly like this one part of Revenge of the Desert Queen. So everybody... No. I lied. It was. But I'll just keep it to myself. Okay. I thought that's why you went there in the first place. Oh. Oh! Nancy, that is so cool! You've got to stay there and see this thing through. Huh. You should try messing with that panel and then checking out the rest of the tomb. Maybe it controls something in another room. Take a look at the pillars. That might have something to do with it. I'm stumped. Got an expert you can call? Ha! Take that standardized testing. Nancy Drew called me a genius. Of course you are. They're hieroglyphs. Maybe it's a typo. Do you think they had typos? Like the builder meant to write dog eyeball pharaoh, but accidentally wrote dog eyeball eyeball pharaoh? Then I'm out of ideas. Unless it's a code. Look for a pattern. Cool. What for? Cool. I know it's unlikely, but I think if aliens ever came to Earth, I think they'd like me. Dogs love me. Kids love me. I just think we'd be pretty simpatico is all. Just brush past my theory. That's fine. That's all I wanted to hear. Go with your instinct, Nancy. You're so good at noticing what people really mean when they speak. Maybe she's saying a little more than she intends to. What's the story? I think our connection is bad because it sounds like you said Anunnaki. I still think it might be the phone, but continue. 
why don't you ask her? And the other is, are you crazy? You do, but to be fair, you do exceed the average person's daily allowance of interaction with crazy and or dishonest people. Is he cute? Why is this never any fun with you? I have no girly friends. Now we're talking. Anyway, you've decided that this cute tour guide with an accent is a problem for some reason? Maybe he's some sort of avant-garde tour guide. You know, way ahead of his time, like that jazz musician you made us see who only played awful notes. And in his defense, there's nothing. Long-distance burn, jazz guy. That does not seem right. I'd say push him for info. See if he slips up. He might be a fraud. Of course. But why would anyone want to buy a piece of history? Shouldn't that go to a museum? That's bad. How bad is that? Hang on. How long before you die in a desert with no water? Question mark. Two days. That's the good news. The second day sounds really, really bad. Nancy, you need to get out of there. Wait, you mean a mummy wasn't there, but all of a sudden there was a mummy there? No, 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 not good, Nancy. Do you? Because no, you don't. You need to stay away from that thing. Oh my gosh, is he all right? This is just like that movie. This curse is coming after you, Nancy. You were the one who broke the seal of the tomb, weren't you? Of course you were. Nancy, what if it's coming after you? What? Who? I don't know, okay? I know you're not going to listen, but I wish you would just come home. Yes, and it was too gross for me to even talk about. Wait, do you have a bug infestation out there? And to think I was jealous when I heard where you were going. Stay away from them. They're probably all super poisonous. Oh, I'm so relieved to hear that. I'm sorry I did so much freaking out. That probably wasn't helpful. What? Then get off the phone! I know you. You get so focused when you're on the phone that you're incapable of running. You're Nancy Drew. Whatever happens, you can handle it. I refuse to believe that, so you do what you have to do. I'm going to hang up now, you're going to be fine, and I will see you at the airport. Buy me a soft pretzel at the airport, and we'll call it good. Nancy, be safe. Nancy! Way to go! Are you coming home? Good luck. I know you can do it. Is it wrong that I find that adorable? It is, isn't it? Of course it is. I'm conflicted. There must be something very special about that cat if it's got its own tomb. Maybe it made a notable contribution to the cat arts and sciences? Clearly. Or, or it belonged to someone important, like Nefertari. Really? What's her story? Why is she really here? Cool, a secret society. Do you think she's hiding something? Strange behavior is rarely irrelevant, especially in a group that isolated. How so? Maybe he sees potential where others don't? It could be something weirder, though. Maybe he has a strange view on loyalty. If Lily's record is so bad, she can't exactly work for anyone else. Hmm. I could be wrong. Be safe out there. Bye. See ya. <gasps> oh! <gasps> hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, no!